What's up, guys? It's your boy, Lee Haight, and Jake Paul and Ben Askren are about to have the fifth most viewed pay-per-view event. Looking at this article, they are going to break records. Jake Paul, in April, he's going to be fighting a UFC fighter, Ben Askren, who was victim of the UFC's fastest knockout by Jorge Magdaval. Knee straight to the to the forehead. You know, everybody uh, hates Jake, and... One thing that's really unique, they don't give him enough credit for how much time he's trained. I've been training in boxing for about seven months. Jake's 2-0 and with a pro record. He has been training for three years. He has been training with some of the best trainers in boxing. And some of the people that he spars out there in L.A. and some of the places, they ain't no joke. He's not super, super impressive um, with his skills. I mean, I'm not... Super, it's not some super boxing expert, but I can tell you after three years of doing this, after all the rounds of and, 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 and fighting in professional matches in front of thousands of people, you know, people don't give him enough credit for actually how much more at advanced of a, of a boxer that he is than Askren and Askren's getting this paycheck. He's stepping up and I don't blame him. I mean, the type of impact and money that this guy can do, uh, what he's going to do with this money. The, the, the type of beat down that he may take, I guess it could be worth it. But the truth is, is like Jake knows that money follows attention. And what he's doing for the boxing sport, Mike Tyson said it himself, it's a good thing. A lot of people like Canelo, they say he makes a mockery uh, out of what it takes to become a professional boxer. But the truth is, is that it says right here, the kid works hard. He has a whole team working with him. Not a bunch of yes men. He trains really hard and he's big. Now, that's the thing. If I was to fight this kid, I mean, I'm only 180 pounds right now. I'm six foot one and a half. I'm about the same tall as him, but dude's a lot bigger than me. And he's got a powerful right hand. He's getting smarter in the ring. And I can only imagine uh, what kind of fighter I'm going to be in three years. But I can tell you one thing, fighting with 10 ounce gloves without uh, headgear, I mean, doing it in front of people, it ain't no joke. And so you may think that because Askren's a professional UFC fighter, that but he's really a wrestler. He never had any hands. He made a video. It's almost a troll video. Makes it look like he doesn't know how to throw a punch. But he's he says, you know, I'm a professional MMA fighter since 2011. The dude knows how to throw a punch. Paul, 24, and Burke on a pro boxing career in 2020. But he's been doing boxing for three years. And Askren's 36. Uh, he's been retired after three UFC fights. He's saying industry uh, injury, but I see him now using this, creating a vlog, creating content. He's got a wrestling academy, you know, and he's probably going to catapult this into uh, building a personal brand. He'll be able to, you know, hold events, sell courses, and do a lot more while the iron's hot. My friend Kelly Pavlik, he's going to be at the Blue Collar American Dream Conference. We're going to the Canelo fight. We're going to chase Jake Paul down. And we're gonna find out his opinion on this. See what, see see what he's see what he feels like. What 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 round he thinks he's gonna knock him out in? You know, thing is, is Ben's gonna try and get him tired. Wrestlers are some tough guys, and the only way that he wins is if he can get Jake tired. You know, the question is, does he have hands? Does he have heavy hands? Jake Paul's got knockout power and cardio. Asker may not have a chin and doesn't have firepower to drop him. So I. This guy says he doesn't see how Askren wins the match. I felt really bad for Nate Robinson. Um, uh, that was one of the most horrific knockouts that I've ever seen. And it reminded me that the sport of boxing is not a sport to play with. That's one thing, the reason why I do it, man. The pressure of, of performing in front of people, the pressure of somebody trying to kill you or beat you up in a ring, it does squeeze the maximum amount of performance out of your body and your effort. And you don't have to get hit in the face to enjoy boxing fitness. As a matter of fact, we're going to be releasing a lot more content, fight commentary, boxing fitness commentary. I partnered up with middleweight boxing champ Kelly the Ghost Pavlik and my boxing trainer Billy Lyle offering home boxing workouts. And we're going to be tracking down Jake Paul. I'm going to beef up. I think I can take his brother Logan, and we're going to have a Roofer versus Logan Paul YouTube Battle Royale. I'm calling you out, Logan Paul. Floyd Mayweather don't want to fight you, but I will. Comment below uh, if you're gonna, who you think is going to win, what round they're going to win. All right, guys, till next time from the Blue Car Boardroom, I'm out.